We found an attack dog. Ow, ow. So we are on the island of Ometepe and we want to share with you this wonderful place that we are staying in. Yeah, I found it on Airbnb and it's called the Eco Cabin on the Lake. Um, we've arrived here and it's actually called El Samaritimo, which is the Samaritan and it's absolutely idyllic. It, re it really is. We're right next to Lake Nicaragua which you can see all in the distance behind us and we're staying in a tree house. You can see it over there and uh, we'll go and show you around the tree house but it's an absolutely fascinating place. So this is the wonderful area under our tree house where we just been relaxing. The Marianne's found a puppy. They have so much nature here. There's a house puppy. How cute is that? Now, if you find an Airbnb property that even provides a puppy. It's a pretty good thing. And this one is like, super cute. Although he does nibble you sometimes when you're sat at the table, don't you? <laughs> and uh, this area here, we've been, we've been having breakfast. The room comes with breakfast and they've done wonderful breakfast for us and dinner. Um, and it's just a really great place. There's electrics here, so we've been sitting here catching up on some of our videos. There's no Wi-Fi, but the guys have been like super, super nice and lent us their phone so we can like check emails and things. And we do have a SIM card in our iPad, which I have managed to upload a video today. It took about 12 hours, but it's up there. And um, this tree house, what a thing. Views over the lake. There's beautiful birds. Um, we've even seen horses, um, a few horses come down to the lake and drink and cool off behind us. Um, but it's just absolutely fabulous. Marianne's had a couple of um, doses in the hammocks which are provided here as well. So this is our bedroom and the mattress is super comfy and uh, it's really, really nice. There's a fan um, to help keep you cool in the evenings. Although with the windows open by the lake, there's always a nice cool breeze. And uh, there's even electric socket so that you can charge up your phone and things. And a hatch that you can close when you go out just to keep your stuff secure. And it was funny actually, last night, um, you could feel it was very windy and you could actually feel the room slightly rocking um, which woke me up in the night thinking what but it's just so authentic and lovely and the noise of the waves um, from the lake um, yes the lake has waves it's that big that it does actually have waves um, absolutely fascinating place so you've probably heard it before but coconuts in the wind are dangerous and there's a number of coconut trees on the island and indeed around where we're staying and it's really windy so when you're walking around always just be aware don't walk directly under a coconut tree because if one of those falls on your head you'll know about it one of the things we really love is actually immersing ourselves in local life and it's so different from life back home and uh, the showers and loo here are just absolutely brilliant so let me share this with you So we've been watching with interest Theo and B from the Indie Projects creating and uh, improving their land that they bought in Portugal and they've made a composting toilet but we too here have our very own composting toilet uh, which you can see behind me. No smell, works really, really well. Um, another thing that they say is the um, 
The water on Ometepe, you hear mixed reviews. Some say you can drink it, some say you can't. Um, it's all provided through wells, and I think some places maybe have better wells than others. We've actually um, got a steri pen that we sterilize all of the water that we're drinking just in case, because the last thing you want to do when you're traveling is get a dodgy belly. And uh, so far, so good. Um, the steri pen seems to be working really, really good, and it saves buying bottled plastic water. Uh, we don't like to use plastic as far as possible. Sometimes you can't avoid it. Um, but yeah, really great place. And there's just furniture everywhere made out of wood, all in different creative styles from benches to the table under our hut. Um, it's just a really cool place. So we're sat enjoying the evening under our tree house and it's just amazing how many huge, I mean huge toads there are. They're everywhere. I went to the toilet and there was one in the toilet. There was just one under my chair. There's like so many scream. toads. Marianne did a massive scream, which in turn made me scream because I didn't scream, she made me scream. 